So you've depleted your savings, you've been juggling your bills, and you just can't do it anymore. You're about to miss a mortgage payment and you can't sleep because you're so stressed out wondering when are you going to get that knock at the door from the sheriff with the eviction notice, or maybe that you're going to come home one day and find that they've changed the locks on you. Well, take a deep breath, sleep a little easier because it does not happen like this. My name is Aubrey Karouche with Keller Williams Realty and I'm about to reveal to you something that the lenders do not want you knowing because they want to scare you into submission. I'm going to share with you the foreclosure timeline and the seven steps and how the foreclosure process works. So the foreclosure timeline is about seven months from when you miss your first payment till they actually foreclose on you. And let's go through the process and the seven steps. Step number one, you miss your first payment. About 15 to 30 days later, you're going to start getting calls from the collection department at your lender's office trying to scare you into making payments. Because of the Obama plan and California legislation, they're required to try to take steps to keep you in the home. So don't avoid all those phone calls. Get on the phone with your lender and see if they do have any options for you. Step number two, the notice of default is filed. This is going to happen about three months after you miss your first payment. You're going to get a certified letter in the mail telling you, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, you're three months behind, you owe us $15,000. Pay us now and we'll reinstate your loan. Now when this notice of default is filed, you are now technically in foreclosure and this is when the clock starts ticking. Now in addition to that certified letter they send you in the mail, they file it with the county recorder's office, meaning it's public record. So everybody has access to it. You're going to start getting phone calls, letters, people knocking at your door, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, we can save you from losing your home, pay us money, call us now. You want to be very careful of who you give money to and be very wary of paying anybody money for services they haven't even done for you yet. Check their references. Make sure they're a legitimate company. So you, you're in the notice of default stage. You haven't been able to cure it. Three months later is step number three. The notice of trustee sale is filed. Like I said, it's three months after the notice of default was filed. We're going to get a certified letter in the mail. They're also going to post a notice on your door. And what they're going to tell you is they scheduled a sale date for your home. It's the day that your property will be foreclosed on and at what time and where. And that sale date is usually about three weeks to four weeks after the notice of trustee sale is filed. So step number four, the sale date arrives. Like I said, it's three to four weeks after the notice of trustee sale is posted. The sale is held and it's an auction, which means private investors can come and bid on your home. If nobody buys it, then the bank's going to take it back at that sale date. Right. Step number five, you're going to get the knock at the door. If a private investor bought it, it's going to be their representative. If the bank took it back, it's going to be their representative. And they're going to say, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, you are no longer the legal owner of this property and we need you to please vacate the premises. So step number six is the cash for keys or the eviction. What's going to happen sometimes is this representative is going to offer you money so that you'll leave the home clean, undamaged, and leave within two to three weeks of when they first contact you. Um, if you do not want to cooperate with them, then they're going to start the eviction process. It's not a good option. Lenders don't like to do this because it's costly and it takes a long time, you know, several weeks. It's not a great option for you either because once you get evicted, that's going to go on your record, okay? Step number seven, you're going to move out and get a rental property or move in with family or friends. Then you're going to wait five to seven years before you can qualify to actually buy a property and at least ten years before that foreclosure comes off your credit. So now that you're clear on the process and that you've got some time from when you first missed your payment, let's talk about the next step. Obviously, that auction date is going to come, and it comes quickly. So if you dig your head in the sand and ignore this problem, it does not go away. These are your next four steps that you're going to want to do. Number one, go to my website. If you'd like a visual, you can download your free copy of the foreclosure timeline and the flowchart. Step number two, go to my website and watch the video on what your options are to avoid foreclosure. And step number three, if you're ready to find a solution right now, then call me. Go to my website and email me your questions or click the contact me link for your free, no-obligation consultation on your options to avoid foreclosure.
And step number four, send this video to as many people as you know because if you're not going through this, I guarantee you that you know somebody who is. And the more informed we all are, the sooner we can clean up this whole foreclosure mess. So let's get informed together. Thank you.